You were, let's see, you were what? You were 13? 14. He fell right out on the carpet. No, he didn't fall on the carpet. Where were you when you found out that he was going to be born? When he was born? Well, before he was born. Did you know before he was born the day that it was going to happen? No. Were you at school when it happened? Mom, Mom lost all the children from 1958 until David was born in 1962. So she had other babies that didn't happen. She lost a set of twins. In between there. Yes. Or maybe two sets of twins. And then, the, and then before David was, a, it was a term baby, and she lost it, and it was a girl with long dark hair. Because mom wanted to see it, and they showed, let her see that child for you. And then mom was, we were down there, I was, I was upstairs, and then mom was down there laying on the couch, and all of a sudden she just hemorrhaged. Dad loaded her up in the car and took her, took her downtown. Adelman then, I think. Adelman Funeral Home, they had the ambulance service for Walmart and then. And away they went. Wait, this was when David was born? When David was born, yeah. Mom almost lost David too. What, what day of the week was it? Was it on the weekend or was it a weekday? No, I don't recall. Was it in the summer? No. No, he was born December 18th. December 18th. 62. So was you, on the, you were on the winter break from school? I might have been. Yeah. No. Because you were home. Look at the calendar to tell you the fact. And you were in St. Louis? I'll tell you what it was. Back then, nope. we had our winter, our, Wilmington our, already. our Christmas breaks were two weeks long, and we had to go to back to school the first. I think the first Monday after New Year's. Something like the first Monday after New Year's. So yeah, we we probably were on Christmas break at that time. Yeah. More than likely, yeah. What day? Do you know what day you were born? Yeah. Do you know what day you were born? I've seen them calendars and. I think there's a calendar, there's a, a, a piece of paper at Pizza Hut that if you put in a couple of things, it'll tell you the day of the week that you were born. Jason's daughter had this book, this magazine-looking book, and it had them in there. And come to find out, I was born on Friday. Uh -huh. And I always thought we came here New Year's Day, but we didn't. We came here um, Wednesday. Let's see. New Year's Day. At New Year's Day, 1957, was on a Friday. And we came here on a Wednesday before. So we came like December 20. December 3rd, what is there, 31 in yeah. December? We came here December 30th. This bar is closed to business. It's okay, Jim, take it Yeah, exactly. It was a Wednesday. So when, when the Christmas break was over, we had to go across the street to the schoolhouse and report in. That was when the first? Yeah, usually, yeah, it was the first, normally it was the first Monday after New Year's. Well, New Year's was on a Monday, and then then I think it was like the following Wednesday or Thursday. But, uh, yeah, see, New Year's Day, New Year's Day was a Friday of 1957, so the following Monday we had to find out what was going on. <laughs> Mom didn't do it, couldn't do it. She had Joy. You know, Joy was just the hell three then. <laughs> and Susan was what, five? Yeah, what? Susan was five. When? 1957. Yeah. So she had to stay home with those two, and we were on our own. 
God. Well, what year did you move to Wilmington? Wilmington? At New Year's time of 1957. New Year's. Actually, December 30th, 1956, we moved to Wilmington. 1956. December 30th. Yeah. And I remember it as I'm sitting here telling <laughs> And it was... Plain of day. Like yesterday. Whole okay, gang, Kippy Corn Gob and everybody. Corn Gob. Fifty four years ago. <laughs> oh, he just and you know, I didn't come up with that until we were moved to Wilmington. I don't know, he made me mad one time and he just happened to be there and he made me mad about something. I don't remember what it was and I called him Kippy Corn Gob. But you did, did you want to go to Wilmington? Oh, we had no choice. But did you want to, or did you want to stay in St. Louis? Stay in St. Louis, we all did. Yeah. We had no choice. And and uh, when you went to St. Louis, what what was the job that you did? Your dad have a job out there? I mean, when you went to to Wilmington? Yeah, he came to Wilmington in 1955 and stayed with Vernon and Bessie, learning the trade. What was so the, he could get in the union? What 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 was the trade? In sheet metal. He, he he lived with them from 1955 until he moved us to Wilmington. And he used to drive home every weekend. He worked with Musker Brothers Iron before that in St. Louis, didn't he? Yeah. Musker Brothers, and then out of high school, Dad worked for Tom McCann. Yeah. yeah. And then after he got out of the war, he went back to work for um, Tom McCann's shoe store until after I was born. Did uh... and they were, they wanted to transfer Dad to? Peoria from St. Louis and mom did not want to go and that 